Listen to the program. When you hear a beep, answer the questions. The program will be played two times. The first part of the program will begin now. Good afternoon. Welcome to Laugh with Us. Every Friday, we have callers who want to share funny jokes with us. Let's listen to our first caller. Hello. What's your name? My name is Kelly. Hello, Kelly. Would you like to tell us a joke now? Of course. One morning, a mother walked into her son's room and said happily, "Get up! It's time to go to school now." The son answered, "I don't want to go to school." "You have to go," said his mother. "I hate that school. The children are terrible." "You still have to go," said the mother. "It's like a jungle." They have one fight after another. They make trouble all day long. You have to go to school," said the mother again. "But why must I go?" asked the son. "Because," answered his mother, "you are the principal." Question one: What is the mother making her son do? Question two: The son thinks the school. Question three: What is the son? <laughs> That's funny. Thanks, Kelly, for telling us this joke. Let's listen to our second caller. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Chris. I've got a funny joke. A man ordered a meal in a restaurant. The waiter brought the food and put it on the table. Later, the man called the waiter back and said, "Waiter, waiter, there's a fly in my soup." "Shh! Please don't speak so loudly, sir," said the waiter, "or everyone will want one." Question four: What did the man find in the soup? Question five: The waiter asked the man. <laughs> I surely don't want a fly in my soup. Here's our last caller of today. Hello, what's your name? Hi, I'm Linda. My uncle asked me some funny questions. See if you can answer them. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. Why did the fox cross the road? He wanted to eat the chicken. Question six: What was the chicken doing? Question seven: The fox was. Listen to the program again and check your answers. The program will begin now. Good afternoon. Welcome to Laugh with Us. Every Friday, we have callers who want to share funny jokes with us. Let's listen to our first caller. Hello, what's your name? 
My name is Kelly. Hello, Kelly. Would you like to tell us a joke now? Of course. One morning, a mother walked into her son's room and said happily, "Get up! It's time to go to school now." The son answered, "I don't want to go to school." "You have to go," said his mother. "I hate that school." The children are terrible. You still have to go," said the mother. "It's like a jungle. They have one fight after another. They make trouble all day long." "You have to go to school," said the mother again. "But why must I go?" asked the son. "Because," answered his mother, "you are the principal." <laughs> That's funny. Thanks, Kelly, for telling us this joke. Let's listen to our second caller. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Chris. I've got a funny joke. A man ordered a meal in a restaurant. The waiter brought the food and put it on the table. Later, the man called the waiter back and said, "Waiter, waiter, there's a fly in my soup." "Shh! Please don't speak so loudly, sir," said the waiter, "or everyone will want one." <laughs> "I surely don't want a fly in my soup." Here's our last caller of today. Hello, what's your name? Hi, I'm Linda. My uncle asked me some funny questions. See if you can answer them. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. Why did the fox cross the road? He wanted to eat the chicken. This is the end of part one. Part two. Nick wants to go to the cinema. He is talking to his sister Faye about the films. You now have thirty seconds to study the questions below. Listen to the conversation. When you hear a beep, answer the question. The conversation will be played two times. The conversation will begin now. Which film do you want to watch, Nick? I don't know. Let's take a look at the film reviews in the magazine to see which film is good. Okay, let's see. There is a new film, 2020. It is about a large rock from space, which is going to hit the Earth. A small group of smart and funny scientists come to help. It says in the review that it is an interesting film. The best part. Is when the robots chased after the scientists in a spaceship. It gets four stars. That sounds good. Question one: What type of film is Twenty Twenty? Question two: Which of the following pictures? Shows what twenty twenty is about. Are there any other reviews? Yes, here's one about Captain Joe. In the film, Joe travels around the world looking for a secret island. 
on the island, there is a fruit that can heal all kinds of illnesses. Joe is very strong and fights with many bad people on the island who want to get the fruit too. The review says the film is very exciting when Joe is on the island, but a bit boring in the beginning. The start is a bit slow, and there is too much talking. Two and a half stars. Hmm. Question three: Why does Joe look for an island? Question four: The review says. Captain Joe is. Okay, I don't like adventure films. Let's take a look at one more review. Do you like ghost stories? A lot of my friends have seen The House Two, and they say it was. Better than the house one. The friends in the house one go on holiday together in the countryside. They find a house which nobody lives in. They go in to explore, and there are ghosts hiding in the house. The review says the special effects are amazing. The ghosts look very real on screen. It gives three stars for the film. I think I will scream when I watch it. The first film sounds more exciting to me. Let's watch that one. Okay, let's go and get the tickets now. Question five: What is good about the house too? Question six: Which film will Nick and Fay watch? Listen to the conversation again and check your answers. The conversation will begin now. Which film do you want to watch, Nick? I don't know. Let's take a look at the film reviews in the magazine to see which film is good. Okay, let's see. There is a new film, 2020. It is about a large rock from space which is going to hit the Earth. A small group of smart and funny scientists come to help. It says in the review that it is an interesting film. The best part is when the robots chased after the scientists in a spaceship. It gets four stars. That sounds good. Are there any other reviews? Yes, here's one about Captain Joe. In the film, Joe travels around the world. Looking for a secret island. On the island, there is a fruit that can heal all kinds of illnesses. Joe is very strong and fights with many bad people on the island who want to get the fruit too. The review says the film is very exciting when Joe is on the island, but a bit. Boring in the beginning. The start is a bit slow, and there is too much talking. Two and a half stars. Hmm. Okay, I don't like adventure films. Let's take a look at one more review. Do you like ghost stories? A lot of my friends have seen The House Two. And they say it was better than the house one. 
The friends in the house one go on holiday together in the countryside. They find a house which nobody lives in. They go in to explore, and there are ghosts hiding in the house. The review says the special effects are amazing. The ghosts look very real on screen. It gives three stars for the film. I think I will scream when I watch it. The first film sounds more exciting to me. Let's watch that one. Okay, let's go and get the tickets now. This is the end of part two. Part three. Faye is reading a poem to her class. Part three a. You now have twenty seconds to study the questions below. Listen to the poem. When you hear a beep, answer the question. The poem will be played once only. The poem will begin now. My clothes. What can I wear with my jeans? I really don't know what to do. I searched through my wardrobe, the cupboards, and the drawers too. Question one: Which pair of words in the poem rhymes? Question two: Where did Faye not search? I wore my favorite T-shirt yesterday, and now it's in the washing machine. I don't want to wear my dirty black shirt. I want to wear something clean. Maybe I should wear my purple sweater, or my green and white vest. No, they won't go well with my sandals. Something in red might be the best. Question three: What is getting washed? Question four: Faye wants to wear something in. I wonder if my sister has something. I quite like the top with grey stripes. I'll just ask her if I can borrow it. Oh dear, she says no way. Susie's mad that I took her sandals, her black shirt and knitted vest, her purple sweater, and her jeans, her T-shirt and. All of the rest. I always think her clothes are nice. I say that we should share. But now I look in her wardrobe, I can see that it is bare. Question five: Which top does Faye want to borrow? Question six: What is the name of Faye's sister? Question seven: Faye's sister's wardrobe is. This is the end of part three A.
Part 3b. You now have 10 seconds to study the questions below. You will hear parts of the poem again. When you hear a beep, answer the question. The poem will be played once only. The poem will begin now. Maybe I should wear my purple sweater or my green and white vest. No, they won't go well with my sandals. Something in red might be the best. Question one Why doesn't Faye wear the sweater or the vest? Susie's mad that I took her sandals. Question two How does Faye's sister feel? This is the end of part 3b. This is the end of part 3. This is the end of the listening paper.